use them at some point in your life. Some emergency responder. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank but I'm going to tell you, they, they can't address. They can't address the sin problem. No, amen. Uh, well, we know who they are and what they yeah. do, but I mean, I mean, we have to also understand why, why we need them. Yeah. Well, why do we need emergency responders? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to answer that question in our text. Uh, yeah. We've been talking about emergency responders throughout this world, but we need to understand why we need emergency responders. Yeah. And I believe that if we look at our text, we can find out as we examine this text by the Apostle Paul from the book of Romans, we can understand why we need emergency responders. Amen. 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 Because as we look at this text, Brother Joe, mm -hmm. all right, and it says here, it says in verse number 18, mm -hmm. it says, Therefore, mm -hmm. as by the offense mm -hmm. of one, death reigned upon all mankind. Yeah. Verse number 17 says, As by one man's disobedience, yeah. sin did enter into the world. Yeah. Yes. So as by one man's obedience, uh -huh. Uh -huh. eternal yeah. life came yeah. upon all mankind. Yeah. When we look at why we need Emergency response. You might have an idea why, why we need emergency response. I mean, yeah. I mean, we know who they are, huh? we, we know what they do, but we got to understand why we need them. Yeah. If sin had not entered the world, we would have a need for emergency response. Yeah. But it was because of what Paul is saying yeah. in this particular text. He said, by the offense of one, one man's disobedience, if y'all go back to the book of Genesis, that third chapter, verse 15, it says that Adam disobeyed God, and death and sin came upon all mankind. And when sin came upon all mankind, it, it brought confusion. Huh? It confused your mind. You didn't know what you were thinking. You became dysfunctional because of sin. And if you want to understand sin and study sin, you have to understand the mind because it begins in the mind. Yes. Right. Huh? There, there's a word that's called a uh, psychopathology. Uh -huh. huh? But when you take the suffix and the prefix and the root of that word, huh? psycho is dealing with your mind. Eh? Yeah. Huh? Pathology is dealing with the study of diseases. So when you look at psychopathology, it's the study of a diseased mind. And I declare to you that man has a diseased mind, but sin You can see that mind was diseased. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, what happened? This dysfunctionalism came into the world. You began to be discombobulated and everything else. You didn't know right from wrong and wrong from right. Good from bad and bad from good. Uh, sin entered into the world and brought confusion. He confused your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Had your mind thinking that you can take what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you do have to hurt somebody. Uh, yeah. but, but you can take what you want. Yeah. And you can treat anybody the way that you want to treat them. Yeah. Now that, that was sin. Yeah. Sin reigned, huh? From Adam all the way to Christ. Yeah. When you can see that, because even in the Bible, you can see where Cain, when they, put, when they sinned, guess what? Cain killed Abel, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Now, y'all read the story of Cain and Abel? Yeah. Now, Cain killed his brother Abel because of sin. Yeah. Because of his mind became diseased. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's what sin do for you. Yeah. Yeah. After Cain killed Abel, guess what? Wickedness was up on the face of the earth. Yeah. Man went about doing whatever he thought he was big and bad enough to do. Yeah. They called it sin. Yeah. Sin was in control. Yeah. They called on different emergency responders, but they couldn't handle sin. Right. They called on Noah. Noah couldn't handle sin even though he was a good man. Right. They called on Abraham. Abraham couldn't handle sin even though he was a good man. God on Isaac. He could only show you what Jesus would do, but he couldn't take away sin. Yeah. Yeah. God on Jacob. Yeah. Even as good as Jacob was, he couldn't take away sin. Yeah. Yeah. Even the apostle Paul who penned this letter, he tried to walk upright, but he still could not take away sin. Yes. Preach, man. Preach. Sin is spread yeah. through our third. But we didn't only have Huh? We didn't only have sin problem here in Langston. They didn't just have sin problem in Guthrie. They didn't just have 
a sin problem in the Oklahoma City, just didn't have a sin problem in Oklahoma, but you had a sin problem throughout the whole world. Yeah. That's why they have to use the military to go to different countries because of a sin problem. That's why they have to have emergency responders to go to bombings because of a sin problem. Huh? Anybody know about a sin problem? Yes. Have you ever had a sin problem? Yeah. Causes you to do what you don't want to do. Even Paul said, when I have a will to do good, evil is always pressure. The things that I want to do, I find myself not doing. The things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. A sin problem. We have a sin problem in the world today. A sin problem is a need for emergency response. As long as we got a sin problem, we'll need emergency responders in our world. Yes, yes. Someone's too busy. Try to hurt somebody else. Mm. Huh? You're right. I'm not just talking about adults. Come on. We have children now. Yeah. Stabbing the kids 14 and 15 times. Now right. that's a sin problem. Yeah. When you're at school and, and you see those little bad kids cussing, huh? that's a sin problem. Them in Walmart, put stuff in their pocket that they can't pay for. That's a sin problem. When you see them cussing out their parents, being disobedient to parents, that's a sin problem. Yeah. 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 Children hurting each other like they do nowadays. Yeah. Huh? I mean, yeah. young children, 14, 15 years old, 12 years old, breaking in places, huh? Breaking wonders out, robbing stores. 14 and 15 years old. That's a sin problem. And they don't mind hurting somebody doing it. Right. Are you going to pray with them? Yes. Preach, Ram. No, they don't mind hurting nobody. Yeah. Uh, they, they will hurt somebody. Why? Be because they have a sin problem. And when you have a sin problem, you need an emergency response. Yes. Yes, you do. I'm going to tell you about the greatest. Emergency respond. Thank you, Lord. Huh? They had to respond. Thank you. Huh? Because of the sin problem. Yes. He, he deserves our honor. Yes. Are you going to pray with me? Come on, Ralph. He deserves.